And a lot of these technologies are new and there's a lot of changes happening rap rapidly, which means uh, we also need the guardrails to make sure we have the protections in place. Can you throw some light on anything related to regulations and compliance that we all need to be aware of? Yeah, I mean, I think so. Um, you know, the only regulation that's really taking effect yet for generative AI specifically is the, is the uh, EU AI Act. And so uh, that typically only applies to the large model vendors, and they're going to have to now provide uh, sources for all the data that their models are trained on, at least if they're being used in Europe. Uh, they also make certain use cases, and that's true for the EU AI Act and for other jurisdictions, certain use cases are sort of out of bounds, right? You can't make hiring decisions based on AI. Uh, a lot, the other sort of compliance issues are more about how do you live up to your existing compliance obligations uh, you know, in the context of generative AI, right? And for that, uh, companies are having to establish AI policies uh, to allow them to distinguish between low risk and high risk use cases. They're also, for the high risk use cases, they're having to evolve their model risk management processes, right? Because now when you take a new Gen AI model to the risk management uh, committee, model risk management committee, it's now a different set of considerations that need to be looked at than for more, a more traditional machine learning model. So, so yes, yeah, so I think all of these processes need to be evolved, and I'm sure there's also going to be more regulation uh, over time. Excellent. Thanks for those insights, Ruben. That's Ruben Park from Amazon Web Services, and we're here at the Barrel Conference in New York City. Thank you.